we just hate that this is happening and we want to get it resolved. Three times in less than two weeks, it's just insane to us. Zesto ice cream burglaries following a string of break-ins. The owner tells 21 Alive News he needs the public's help. It's something that's actually never happened before. Zesto's on Broadway in the fort more than 70 years. Burglarized, get this, three times in the past couple weeks. Good evening. Thanks for being with us, everyone. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Krista Miller. Amelia Miles sat down exclusively with the owner. He says they're worried not just for their business, but also for the community. Amelia joins us from the Zesto on Broadway. Amelia. Linda and Krista, whether you're getting a vanilla ice cream cone, a raspberry slushie, or even the yogurt flavor of the week, you're getting it through this window. It's supposed to only be for food and payments only, but recently there's something else that's been going through it. Sesto Ice Cream Shop on Broadway is a summertime favorite. Well, I was just coming into work in the morning on a normal day and um, I noticed that the door, the back door was unlocked, which is obviously unusual. And when I opened the door, um, there was just cords everywhere, unplugged, cut. Um, the place had obviously been ransacked. On May 23rd, the owner, who wants to keep his identity hidden, tells me the thief stole their payment stands, Wi-Fi routers, and more. What was even more strange is that half of the stuff that was missing on the first day well, I actually found it bagged up in a trash bag on the ground inside. That was just the first time. June 1st, the same thing happened again. This time, it was caught on camera. One of our square stands really was missing. Luckily, only one of them was taken, so we were able to at least open. Four days later, the criminal struck again. This time, more recognizable on store surveillance video holding a gun and a knife. He actually took all of our new security cameras, our new TV monitor. So when you when you add everything up, it's, a, it's at least over two grand. So how did the thief pull it off? The owner says the first time he broke the screen and unlatched the window. I think the next two times he was just able to force this window open by pushing it back and forth and getting it off its track and basically just pulling the window out using force. After the third break-in, the owner says he found something significant in the video. I was surprised to find a, a cigarette on the floor and when I looked back at the video, um, he was actually had it in his mouth as he came in. So I thought, this is great, you know, this will be DNA and they're gonna find this guy. After he filed separate incident reports, he says he hasn't heard anything from police. For, for this guy to come back and really terrorize us three times in less than two weeks, it's just insane to us. Now, he's reaching out to the community for help identifying this person. Scary for, for the community at large, not just us, and uh, we just hate that this is happening and we want to get it resolved. We contacted Fort Wayne police to learn more, but haven't heard back yet. So if you recognize the person in the video, please call police. Reporting from Broadway, Amelia Miles, 21 Alive News. Yeah, you hate to hear that happening to a business. Everybody knows that Zesta location. Amelia, we hope that that helps.